So this was the Mark Millar graphic novel I was talking about when I mentioned I forgot <laughs> the name of it. And it's called Huck. Now, I really, really, really enjoyed reading this. I absolutely loved it. And essentially what it's about is this guy named Huck, which of course you can see on the cover here, who is just a regular seeming guy in a small town who every day does a good deed. And it turns out he's able to do these good deeds because he's also hiding his superpowers. And because he lives in a small town, the small townspeople tend to want to keep and protect him because they all love him because he's part of the town and they don't want a bunch of mess. Well, then a new chick comes to town and, you know, she's hearing about Huck and they're telling her about Huck. And so, of course, she does what any person in her position does. She sells him out. And that gives him just this kind of attention that, you know, he is not equipped to deal with because he's really kind of simple in the way that he deals with the world. And, you know, it's, it's like, I don't want to say that he's slow because I don't think that it's that. I think it's that he takes people at their word and I kind of get that personality, but essentially he's someone who, you know, he takes people at their word. So he doesn't necessarily look at people to treat him bad because he's been in this small town for his whole life. And as you can see, he has a list that he always does and it's, you know, a good deed for the week. And it's, you know, and essentially it's kind of a little bit like the Superman story in that he was an orphan, you know, um, and that's part of the mystery of it. So as he gets notoriety, of course, this greater kind of mystery comes out and that somebody comes up and says, hey, I'm your family. Let's go find your real mom. And that turns out not to be a very good thing because, of course, if it sounds too good to be true, then, of course, it's too good to be true. But, you know, the idea of finding your mom, you know, when you're, when you've been an orphan, like you're, you're, of course you're going to jump on it. And so then it turns into this great story about, um, about, um, like, what is it? Like, uh, secret experimentation in Russia. And like, it's a really, it is a really, really good read. Like the art is so fitting for this. And, you know, as you can see, the art is by Raphael Albuquerque, who does an amazing job in this. It's like, there's not really, <laughs> there's not really too much. Like, this is the guy who claims that he's related to Huck. I mean, there's, there, there's not much, there's not really much to be said. I mean, it's basically something that... I would highly suggest that you pick up and read. Like, I wish that this was a series that had continued because I really think that it is, you know, such a good story. It's teen rated, which I guess I can see why, because it's not necessarily, like, there's not uh, heavy language and there's not too, too much violence in it. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like suited to like regular superhero comics but I think it's just a really kind of nice modern sort of alternate take on superheroes because it is you know a guy who would qualify as a superhero who doesn't necessarily see himself as a superhero who you know like just does what he does because it's what he was taught to do and so, yeah, I mean, I guess for me, I probably love this a lot because it kind of reminds me of that kind of Superman figure. And if I can't get it from DC, I might as well get it from this. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is one of those things, like, I think if you were that kind of, like, if you were that kind, 
that you just loved, like nice and simple because the plot line is not complicated at all. Everything is straightforward. And yeah, I mean, that's literally about all I could say about that. This is a high recommend. And I, I, I really can't say anything other than that. Then I think that it's a really good story. And it should be because I do believe that that's one thing that Mark Millar can give you. Now, I do still plan on, like, I'm, I do plan on um, getting the uh, Space Bandits because I know right now that's on pre-sale. That's going to be coming out soon, the graphic novel for that. And I'm probably going to do the graphic novel instead of the individual issues to kind of read that. Um this makes me feel a little bit more comfortable about doing that, even though it looked, for the reviews, it looked good anyway. I also have uh, Middle West Volume 1 that I'm going to be doing as well. But, I mean, this one I read first because I was excited for this one because, I mean, just like, I mean, just the little premise what if the person you least expected had an amazing secret? And just, like, the way he's shaped is just, it is. It's like a simple, small-town guy just doing big things. That's literally, <laughs> that's literally all that it is. And I love it for that. I love it, love it, love it for that. So anyway, if you like this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, do the bell stuff for notifications, share, and all of that. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.